Hi, this is Lynn, and I'm coming to you this week with a few tips that I figured out this week in Excel. And I thought somebody else out there might have these same problems and would like to learn a few tips. Uh, here's my Facebook page. I'd love for any of you to come by, like the page. I do post, oh, try to post three or four times a week and have either interesting stories or tips. So let's go on over to Excel. And I do have a sheet that I have gotten ready. And there is the first thing that I wanted to talk about and that is the Excel circular reference warning. If you've ever had that happen to you, what the first thing when you open up a spreadsheet, it's pretty irritating. So I finally stopped and looked up how, how to fix that and I thought some other people might have had the same problem. First thing I'm going to do is click on OK unless you want to go and read about what they say about circular references. So you do need to click the formula tab to get over here to expose the commands we're going to be looking at. Here is an error checking tab and we are going to see where the circular reference is and it's telling us that it's in F30. So let's go over here to F30 and you can see from the status that it's adding from F9 to itself. It's totaling up to itself and of course that's wrong. So I'm going to have it total up to cell 26 and then I'm going to click this green enter mark and my circular reference now is gone and I won't hear that annoying tone anymore when I open up this spreadsheet. The second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, these commands right here, precedence, tracing, precedence, and dependence. And the I really like this because it tells you what cells are adding up in, in it to the to the formula. And it's really kind of cool because it gives you a graphical interface. You can see what, what exactly is adding up to this 4169 and of course it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can do that anywhere on the sheet. I'm going to remove those arrows and say I want to know where does this 1025 add into? Well I can go and click the trace dependence and you can see that it's adding up over here to this total and you can look up here in the status bar and you can see yes it is adding from over to E to O and so that formula is feeding over here to this total formula. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that arrow. And the last tip that I wanted to show you today is very simply show all the formulas on the sheet that you're working on. And that's kind of nice if, if you've just made a sheet and want to check your formulas over very quickly instead of having to mouse over each one. It'll just show you right there and you don't have to mouse over each one. You can quickly check and make sure it's doing what you want it to do. All of these were shown using Excel 2010. Uh, that is what I'm currently using. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same for at least uh, Excel 2007. Uh, but I'm not real sure about that. So thanks for stopping by and I hope you learned something. If you please leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you.